Hi, Vinas. This is Dr. Srikant from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm going to discuss about the part two of maxillary sinus. Few case-based or applied-based aspects of maxillary sinus. So the first important aspect is as age increases, as age increases, the thickness of the wall that is present between the roots of maxillary teeth and that of the maxillary sinusitis decreases. So, when you're talking about a case of oroantral communication or oroantral fistula, these cases are very, very less or very rare in the case of below 14 years. Okay. But if we see in the adults, the bone thickness that is present between the roots as well as the maxillary sinus is just around 1 to 1.2 centimeters. Okay. Sometimes even lesser than that. So whenever you have, whenever you're planning to extract the maxillary teeth, particularly the, uh, the premolars as well as the maxillary molars, that is the posterior teeth, there are high chances that you may lead to a communication, okay, a communication that is between the oral cavity and to that of the sinus, which is called as oroantral communication, okay. So that, that is one of the important uh, applied aspects that you have to make a note. And whenever there are mid-facial factors, we are going to discuss about these mid-facial factors uh, in the next few, in the next classes. So there are high chances that this wall, because this thin wall, can easily break. Okay. So the next important aspect, as I was already discussing, the thickness of the wall of the maxillary sinusitis. So whenever there are swellings or whenever there are any patho pathologies related to or adjacent to that of the sinuses, they lead to thinning of these walls okay so whenever there is a thinning of these walls the symptoms can be easily exhibited on your facial aspect that is particularly the cheek the buccal aspect and the palatal aspects and whenever the tumors okay particularly as already discussing about the anatomy so the anatomy uh, where where your the roof the roof of the maxillary sinus is found by the orbital wall so whenever there are tumors related to the maxillary sinusitis which lead to the expansion of this roof okay so they lead, they may lead to exophthalmosis or diplopia and some sort of uh, signs and uh, symptoms related to the sight and eye and coming to the root lens in some cases the floor of the sinus lies between the roots of the same tooth or the adjacent tooth okay so you can see that the maxillary sinus uh, will be uh, like this okay so that the roots the on the radiograph the roots uh, assumes to be inside the floor of the wall and uh, most of the periapical infections in the uh, in the maxillary teeth can cause or can communicate or while extracting there are high chances that they can lead to oroantral communication right so and few more applied aspects if you take the line okay the line that is drawn from the median canthus okay the median canthus of the eye to that of the angle of the mandible if you draw a line to this and if you divided it into anterior and posterior okay because this particular line or plane is basically used to help in prognosis and the tumors that lies anterior to this have better prognosis when the when compared with the tumors which lies posterior to it okay so this is an applied aspect okay so apart from this okay as already discussed about this particular diagram that the roots uh, assumes to be inside the wall and there is one question that is given in 2014 or 2015 apj i think so uh, Pneumatization of maxillary sinus ends at what is okay that is at 16 to 18 years okay so the floor of the maxillary sinus uh, uh, appears to be uh, moving around the roots and giving that the appearance that the roots of the maxillary teeth penetrates into the sinus floor so apart from this uh, uh, you can you can uh, see the uh, surface contour of the soft tissue structures uh, uh, in the maxillary sinus uh, by using a contrasting agent against the air filled spaces because air will be uh, marked in a different way and your fluid and the soft tissues will be marked in a different way on the radio -tone. so this particular effect can also be asked as a question so these are the new terms that you have to add to your uh, notes right so 
that's all for now uh, we'll be coming up with the part 3